did get a chance to take a look at this just in the first night that it was added and there's no question the map is absolutely beautiful this will be my first opportunity to cast it and we've got two absolute giants going at it right now obviously bolu making his return to mobile mayhem the highest earning player in call of duty mobile history see what type of an impact he can have off this start pretty much even playing field for him on this one is uh, I would imagine probably neither of these teams a whole lot of reps as it was just now added back in. We'll see what they can make of it here as Seminole does get some early time locked in. Big, almost double right there for Bolu. Is going to find a trade in the hands of his teammate in space already on a force spree to get things started. Yeah, he is, man. He was killing the imposters. They were trying to get through the vent. Bobby, you should have seen it. <laughs> They're still trying to hit it. Look, Suiwa's up there. Tatio. Hello. Tatio's going to be able to get the trade. Hop on the hill. And there it goes. For the time being, it's going to be unoccupied. So, um, mini map shows you, if you can see it, it, is a massive influx of people to get into this middle portion of the map. It is all hands on deck needed for this one. So many points of entry. And then you've got those tricky little ducks up top the vents, too to deal with as well so 30 to 8 is the time being now as we're going to see p2 rotations being made that's going to be on the left bottom left hand side of your screen of uh the mini map but right now it's commanding lead coming through for seminal Ooh, some body shooting out of swiwa onto space right there it is going to be seminal locking in the early time once again a little bit of a rough start for tle especially she sweet and xyrax only combined for three kills off this start Across the board, Seminole looking very, very solid. This is a team that I feel like in this season alone has improved drastically in what they've been able to do up against the top team. So Swiwa up to seven off the start already. He's snaking his way inside the hard point, trying not to give away any of this power position. I don't know if you actually lock in hard point time from up here or if he's just holding down the power, but right now they are loading up on the kills as Seminole struggling to make their way into this one. Oh, man, he's on it, Platt. Finally, Blur going to be able to shut him down. Actually, Bolo actually gets the credit for the kill. Was via an aid shot. Ten seconds left to go. What lead Seminole did have has gone a little bit south, as we can see. It is now the point going to be held right over here towards the statue site. You can see the reception area space. Sim already there in trolls. Equalizer out for space, too. He's looking to mitigate some of these short-range gunfights. And inside of the building he goes. He's going to be able to find two for free almost. And the team's going to have all of this spawn time for the time being. This is an interesting one. A lot of people don't remember, but the Equalizer got a buff to the amount of damage that it does, but it also reduces the damage that you take. So that's one upside that you don't have for the Purifier and something that could potentially make it viable. A little bit better in the long range. Obviously not able to get the kill right there, but... My gosh, Bolu is just on a different level since returning. 13 kills already. Blur's going to pop the Annihilator, seeing how many he can farm, and they funnel on into it. Eight kills now on the board, and they're spawning right in front of him. That's not what you want to oh see if your TLE law is going to get shut down there as well. And my, oh, my, what a spree out of Blur. Oh, what a spree. Zyrex finally going to be able to put it out. And a little bit of time is going to go back in. So they've been bleed dry here in the P3 rotation. Now P4 we go. It's the artillery. We see the big guns come out. Uh, Suiwa trying to chop this rotation in half. They have been absolutely dealt the business here of the P3 site. The transition needs to be crisp. And as of right now, it's not looking like they're going to have the control off the rip, Bobby. It's Tio putting himself in a position to at least contest. Yeah, he's going to get shut down. This is going to be Seminole in the feed, Seminole on the point, Seminole doing it all at the moment. Yep, they're not making anything easy for this TLE squad, and this is a tough one to break into. Low ground that you got to try to rotate up through both directions, and Blur is single-handedly locking them down, spawning into the pre-fire. That is a rough spot to, to be. She's finally going to pop up. Solo is using the war machine. I mean, talk about off-meta operators for days. He doesn't realize Law is right there on the inside of the hard point. He gets shut down. The contest remains, and finally, TLE finds a way to break in. Here we go. 15 seconds left to go. Plenty of time to profit off of P1. Certainly right around the corner, but, oh, forgot. This is a P5 scenario, so we got five points on this objective. Right now, it's uh, going to be a hefty, hefty lead after the first four going in favor of the side of Seminole, but over towards the uh, back end of the map now, we're going to see the rotations being made. Seminole and squad, they have been here. This is a huge map to traverse. And with the hill popping open for business, you can go and go and guarantee it. The first 10 seconds of this one going to be for free. Yep. 
Right now, TLE is just trying to check every possible corner they can. Law is going to be able to find one before getting shut down. Bolu on the back side, still top fragging for the squad. 18 gets broken by Zyrax right there. TLE able to find the full break right here. And it is, they are just in love with the Switchblade, man. I don't, I don't know, but they're feeling so comfortable. Four Switchblades out for the squad. And I guess uh, on, a, on a map with this many tight angles, you want to have that maximum up close time to kill. Blur is going to be able to find one. Definitely some major AR presence for Seminole. Blur pushes in, finds a big kill, and just like that, the break goes through the other side. But this seems like one hard point where you're not going to be able to find holds for too terribly long. Yeah, this lounge is very hostile. I don't know what's going on. Waiting room might not be the best option, but... We'll see his uh, P1's coming to rest now. His uh, first set of hills through all five. 142, 97. Damage kept to a minimum there for TLE. They've got the rotation early as well. Zyrax is holding down the fort, waiting for the cavalry. They got each and every entry minus, well, no, everything. Everything is covered. The whole kit and caboodle. So it is going to be looking like a better reset and a better set of hills off the start. Solo's in the corner. Here comes the Annihilator. Shuts down your Sparrow. Almost catches another body, but still he watches. Too dang OP. To TO out with a claw as well. P1 still uncontested. Time not going in favor of Seminole. It is going to remain in TLE's favor. Yep. And they're they're even in the situations where it looks like Seminole is gonna start pulling away. TLE finds those big chunks of time and are able to get enough contest time even when they don't have that map control locked in. Obviously, this is a, a very, very basic form of what we're going to see probably later down the road out of these teams is they figure out what those crucial hold points are, where the spawns are, and what they can do to lock it in. But Zyrax on the back side, able to find one. Looks like going to be able to regen right here as well. Hops up on the heady, and he's going to be tough to take out right here. It's, oh, it looked like he was going to find space, but Bolu to the rescue. Oh, I think he did get space, but Bolu does come to the rescue now. P2 open for business. That topside plat, if... Uh, uh, anybody from TLE can get there. They might be able to get some heads for free. I don't think they're collect time. Zyrex slides through. Perfect little heady to hold here. He's just going to lay prone until the cavalry gets in. He's got two players right there by his side, but it's three back in the feed. This Seminole team starting to bleed him dry. Yeah, again, but Hill's time is still going to be collected as soon as I say that. Seminole come through with a break. How much longer can they hold it for? They've sold a little bit of this lead. Lost the lead. But they are starting to get back in command now as we see the operators coming through. So we walk absolutely wrecking them. Let's yep. see how much he can get out of this one. He's not going to be able to find an angle on the Bolu right there. Uh, thought he was getting shot by his teammate. That's not the right player. No real value found right there, but he's going to be able to take down Zai anyway with the help of his teammate. Just like that, TLE back inside the hard point. And this has been so incredibly back and forth. Seems like most of the hard points, it, it, it's been 50-50. It's really come down to the lead that we saw at the start. It's dwindled in some scenarios, but for the most part, it's remained basically the same. It feels like it's going to come down to potentially if one of these teams can find a full 60, might be able to blow things wide open, but Zai! Oh, my. That Sparrow is going to go to complete waste. Wow, a full wipe for TLE. And this could be that exact opportunity they're looking for. No, you're absolutely right. They do a great job of flooding the backside first. They do that first off the bat. They got those close spawns. And now they're just looking for players to come through any of the angles. Zyrex doing a great job of utilizing his operator right here. Law going to pop his. Anybody that comes through in a close quarter combat, he's got a lockdown. Here comes the hit. The Oh, man, the pure fire goes to waste. But nonetheless, his squad, again, still maintaining the fort in the first time of this game. They've got a lead, Bobby. A lot of seminal players with an opportunity to break in here. Hunter Killer going to go right at Bolu, takes him down. And Law able to stay alive for the time being. This was the money hill they've been looking for. TLE makes their way into the lead off the start of this one. And now 25 points advantage is what they've got to work with as we rotate back on over. I don't know what number this hard point is. I think it's P1. I'm not positive. Still in the process four. of learning this is not P1. I don't even know. Four, 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 four. P4. Oh, there it is. You see it. You can see the four on the right hand. No, okay. It's not on the point, but you can see the four on the right hand side of the building. It's space looks. Ah, okay. Was, uh, oh, okay. Never mind. Artillery right here. The big guns out here for the P4. With the spawn. <laughs> Wait, oh, my God. I mean, space literally dies and he spawns 20 feet away. And now he's across the map. Oh, I, I, I was just watching Blur's POV and he was literally like staring at a corner and a guy spawned right behind the corner and he just absolutely obliterated him.
right now Seminole's got to find a way to lock it in. They're trying to work those headies, but no, not enough information. They finally take down Tatio, but you got to get inside the hard point. And there's a lot of angles you got to clear out to make it happen. Bolu slides the corner, able to find one, but can't make it two. Seminole's not able to find anything right here. And this lead continues to grow. They are struggling to find any morsel of hard point time. And oh, even no. without the kill lead, Right now, Tealy only needs 10 more seconds to get the win. Oh, man. It's in the lounge we go. Space has got to get a little hop up here. Right on the outskirts, but he gets shut down. That's three in the feed on the left-hand side. It's blue. Make it four. Bolo trying to ease the pain. They get the break. And here comes the boys of Seminole. They got the middle of the map locked down, but they do not have these spawns. Anyone controlled. So we walk through the front door. Here comes the collapse. Just like that, it's Chisui and Blur there to get the trades. But Suiwa... Not going to need to even get there. This one's done, Bobby. I feel exhausted watching this one. They've gone back and forth so far, and this map is huge. They probably got outslayed even if it was by a tiny margin. Uh, I think pretty even on both sides, but uh, it seems like the AR presence was definitely not able to have quite as much impact here on Arsenal. And Okay, first little uh, round here as we see TLE making the bum rush through the B side. They read it like a book. Semo gonna get dropped right there. Blur gonna get one before he goes. Space there for the trade, two for two style. Target we are gonna see that bomb drop down the generator site. Suiwa is uh, single-handedly cleaning up the entire Seminole squad. Finally taken down by Space right there into the two v two. Law on the back side. He's got a sniper in hand. He's been known to be lethal with it. Trying to find the angle. Looks like the bomb's gonna go down. They have no idea that Law's here. Maybe they do, but it's not going to matter as he takes one down with a deagle. Zai dropped by Shisui. And right off the start, it's TLE taking the advantage once again. Here we go. Great little retake. Used. I can miss Suiwa, man. Three off the nice rip. Work. That is hard to That's deal with. Out. You got a player like that that's kind of got his head on a swivel, right? He's looking to pounce at any given time. Kind of hard to deny that. I'll give him props or props to do. Absolutely yeah, handing them the business the there in that first round. So. Defense standing strong so far. A side hit this time around. We are going to send not everybody, but at least one there to contest. The TO doesn't like what he sees. And here comes the Calvary. Seminole looking to shut him down solo. Going to catch him right there on the transition. A great little setup here now as we see this bomb should be going down here any moment. Oh, so we wah, though. Oh, so we wah. Oof. He is just making life miserable. And they had nobody watching that mid entry. He just. Ran in and did whatever the heck he wanted to. Blur shut down and another dominant round for TLE. This is, and once again, this is a team that has not looked super strong in the search and destroy. But man, the, the last couple weeks, they, what, last week taking down in a dominant search and destroy. Yeah, it's a new map, but taking down a, uh, a Luminosity roster that has looked close to unbeatable and off the start 2-0 lead here against Seminole as well. Okay, I respect your game, TLE. Let's go. Search and destroy just completely turned around there. Payoff rounds. It's Tio opened up the first blood. Cyrax there gets quickly traded and mints the action. The Tio not going to go out unscathed. So we lost still alive. So we'll still have a little bit of hope here. Post plant setup looking like they've got everything locked down. You got blur on a weird off angle. Let's see how weird he can get with it. Suiwa. No. Whoa. Hey, blur. I see you there, homie. Gets dropped. And now it's the 3v3 retake. His eyes taking some bullets too. Space able to get involved with Law going down. Bobby, 20 seconds left to go. They got to make the hit. All down to Shisui right here. Checks both sides. Looks like he's going to be able to sneak through. And he does not want to commit to it. Bolu makes him pay. Seminole is able to find their first round here in the Surge and Destroy. And definitely a much needed one. Is You do not want to let things get out of control if you don't have to. I don't think, uh, or actually, I correction. I would imagine we have sniper presence in the hands of Zai. Typically, the top sniper is going to try their best to patrol that B site. Lots of long angles. Looks like Log going to be the only one there to challenge. And not going to peek up top off the start right here. Sees all the utility coming over. Doesn't want to give anything away. And that should enable an early bomb plant if they want it. Yep, it's going to go down. 40 seconds here for the hit. 5v4. You got the player advantage. See if they can maximize on it. Blur. Going to be able to equalize things out for the hit. Oh, it's going to be red sniff. Blur putting in work. Polo there for the trade. Suiwa still alive. Seven kills on his name. He's going to get another. 
Zai. My God, gets blasted off of it. Tatio, last one alive. Space. Right in the perch. 20 seconds left to go. Tatio's one. He's got to reheal. Here comes oh the chow. God, he wants timing. to smoke. He got the read. Look All at it. All the timing. Oh, oh no, he can't win it. Ooh. Lost that <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, space put him in the blender right there. Just had no business winning that one. Doesn't have the. Well, I mean, he didn't have the peeker's advantage, but then he unpeaked and then he gave himself the peeker's advantage. Looked like COD timing was not going to go his way, but a huge kill to clutch up in the 1v1. And uh, right now, Bolu, Blur, Space doing everything that they can to try to lock in a search and destroy victory here to Tio. Peaks the top side, turned on again, and he is not having fun in this 1v1. Another big kill for Space is She Sweet now left all alone. He's going to be shut down by Zai, who finds his first two kills. And a qu nice couple of quick scopes to give Seminole the lead. Okay, Zai finally getting involved, man. Love to see it. Last round, devastating. This round, putting the pain on him. Two yeah, in the feed to shut it down. In a great way to, uh, you know, kind of spark this uh, attacking side up. This is the last round you got to do it on. B-side hit, must call for. They have been back and forth, Bobby. And I got to say, I love the approach. I love the strategy. Nobody here to contest except for Law yet again. He's going to just okay, eat out. so many bullets. Double back, tucks the nade. Tosses it out. Bomb's gonna go down now. 5v5, clean retake. Not so fast, my friend. Solo able to jump down and drop Law. He's gonna get another one as well. Uh, as we see Zai drop down as well. It's 2v4 for the retake here for the side of the TLE. Space trying to get time to go his way. Does once again, and now all down to Shisui. He is pinned back into this top side room. Bolu's got the information. Space is on the opposite side. He's able to find one, but they're just going to bull rush it. Solo's got a shotgun in hand. He ends things quickly right there. And what was looking to be a dominant start for TLE has turned sour very, very quickly. Four straight rounds for Seminole. They come storming back and head on over to the defensive side in a fairly comfortable position. Okay, we'll see if they can maintain it. They started this one off a little rocky. I'm going to be honest with you. They kind of got thrown in the gutters off of it. Let's see the bounce back. Law to a little cheeky spot. Catches one onto the A site. Oh, hello, space. Trying to cross back over. He gets dropped. So damage done. Bombs made its way over. It's a 4v5 here for the retakes. Irex eating bullets, but stays alive. Here comes the hit now. Blur going to be able to find the first. Gets shut down instantly, Bobby. Three left on each side. Zai with an opportunity at the quick scope can't connect. Sui was on the back side of the wall. He's got to clear him out, and he's not going to have any easy angles to do it. Relays the information to his teammate, but they're just going to keep peeking, playing time, using the advantage that they have. And now Solo left all alone. Not a whole lot of HP, and he's in a 1v2 with a switchblade in hand. Hopping up top to see what he can do. Doesn't see Sui went down below. Looks like TLE going to find a way to bounce back. Now 4-3 to three as they keep things close. That was such a great job, that first opening interaction. If Law doesn't hit that shot on space, making the rotation Story back from nuclear, that could have gone any way. So big, big kill in the back end that kind of sealed that round, made it a little bit easier to uh, salvage right there. Bomb went down almost instantly upon doing so. Space going to get caught yet again, but Law not going to hit the same shot. Bomb, however, made its way over. Zai's the only one here. Doesn't put in much work, but let's see if we can go big enough to uh, you know, kind of slow it down. Law actually going to be able to catch Solo in the act, and... Well, Bobby, again, player advantage on the left-hand side of your screen. 38 seconds here for the retake. Tatio's got this midsection just locked down. R9 to the face if you try to make your way down. Bolu's going to open things up as he takes down Swiwa. Looks like Law gets hit. Marker right there in bad timing for Tatio, but he gets the shot for the major assist anyway. Now you got to deal with Zion Bolu. Oh, my gosh. The first shot connects, but Space running through. He's got 10 kills, but it's all down to Bolu. He's not unfamiliar with these situations. Into the 1v1. Laws in the backside. Should have information, but can't hear him down below. He has absolutely no idea, and he's not going to have enough time. Law clutches up. And just like that, we're tied back up. Wow. That was just such great timing there for Law. He... Gets there in the nick of time. Bolu doesn't hear a thing. And he doesn't have to worry Destroy about taking the gunfight. Ultimately wins it regardless. And a great execution here. Two rounds in a row. We get a flip. Suddenly these lights turn on here for the boys in blue. TLE rocking it. Full on ace in space. Gets dropped.
from inside the office. Law just hitting shots, call him as he goes. Blur, able to find one solo, able to find one two, down to 2v2, Bobby. This one going quickly, but the bomb, not down as of yet. Right now, Law's got one player down below. Doesn't seem to really know right now. They've got the opportunity to retrieve the bomb if they want to, but they're on the defensive side, so they're not going to want to do that. They're on the offensive the side. My sides are mixed up. You guys have to cut me some slack. I haven't casted this map in a while. Right now, it looks like the bomb's going to go down. Law's going to be able to take down Zai, and Blur's going to get spotted out of position. She sweet. Another big kill, and this has been just a game of runs. 2-0 off the start for TLE, then 4-0 for Seminole, and then TLE bounces back with three of their own. Here we go. Well, we got to stop the drought here soon. Seminole. This one's supposed to be competitive. We flip sides, and there has not been any competition to show up just yet. We'll see if they can end their run. Blur finally going to be able to take down Law, who has not had the most kills, but has had a big impact here with the sniper right there. A site is cleared out. It is another bum rush. We got a clean 3v3 solo, just changing things as he goes. Bomb not going to go down as of yet. And well, with Blur down low or up top in this office building, G Suite trying to shut him down. The trophy's gonna save him for now. She's sweet, gonna opt to go for another route. He's the last player alive. Minute 20 on the clock. Bob is in no man's land and it's a 1v2. This might be the round that Seminole needs. They've gotta play this sound. Right now, She's sweet, making his way over to the B site. Blur doesn't really seem to have the information that he's wrapped back, and this could potentially be a free kill. He's still tucked away in that corner, but the bomb is down in that midsection. And they're not giving away anything that they don't have to. It looks like he's going to make the wrap back through mid. Zai's still patrolling the area. Not going to exit the A site anytime soon. He's still got 45 seconds to work with. If he can catch Blur from this top oh. side, doesn't opt to do it. I mean, that would have been oh, the free kill man. to turn it into a 1v1. Because there's no way Blur re reads that properly. But fortunately for him... Is probably going to get spotted out right there. See Zai. He's trying to run away. He said, oh, I'll just grab the bomb. See how quickly I can plant. See if Zai makes the right play right here. I would imagine should be a free kill for him. And yes, it is. Man, uh, that was just like one of those times you cannot afford to, for the time allotted, to peak the angle he wanted to inside of the boiler room. But he just looked at the clock and he realized, you know what? I got to grow. I got to go. It's either I'm going to clutch or not. She sweet doesn't peak the angle, doesn't get the advantage, doesn't get the equalizer, doesn't get the bomb down. Payoff round, we're tied up. Seminole finally picks up a round for themselves. Plenty of information for Zai there, as he's gonna get the call. It is certainly a B side hit. Here comes Solo through the middle of the map. Zyrak shut down. The generators are still very, very contested. Zai gonna be able to find another in the feed. And Bobby, this one might not be over. Tio just so nasty with that R9 though. He is absolutely bullying with that thing. Zai does not, or rather Law doesn't get the timing onto Zai. It looks like he's going to be forced to sit back. Bomb's down right now. The two players remaining. They've got to retrieve it, but there's a lot of head glitches that they've got to go through to make it happen. He's going to go ahead and wrap. Gets the information on the flash right there, but kind of already opted to make the move and now not going to be able to make a whole lot out of it. Nobody giving him information, but he spots out space right there. She sweet drops in the same breath into the 1v2. Timing has not been friendly to TLE the last couple of rounds. It looks like Bolu and Zai are just going to play these generator angles and force him to make the push in. I like the call. This is it, player two. So let's stack up too much. You know, he's the lethal sniper on the left hand side of the screen, but 40 seconds left to go. He's got to make a move. Law covering all odds and ends. Can he pick up a secondary? Does he want to keep the 50 cal? He does collect the bomb. That's going to give the boys over at Seminole a little bit of information. Surely they don't see it. Hetty's going to get popped there from Zai. He's going to be able to get away with his life. Bolu able to put in the last shots. And just like that, we've got a game point right around the corner. We might be looking at a little bit of control. Let's see if Seminole can tuck this one away. I definitely would not be disappointed to see it. Seminole with an opportunity to close things out right here. Pretty even contributions across the board. They're going to full send it on into A right here, and it looks like they're going to make the read correctly. 
Teely will be the first to peek out. Bolu not giving anything away right here. Big gunfights happening on the inside. Bolu's able to find one, make it two right there. Tatio's gonna drop, and now it's down to the two remaining players for TLE. Three players alive for Seminole right here. The bomb is down on the inside of A. Once again, not a good spot, and Solo's gonna spot Outlaw. Now all down to Suiwa to clutch up. Oh, if anybody is able to do it, it's him. This guy started on a hell-bent mission. Last known location of any of those players, they're all over the place. Solo, I think, was the last one in the feed. He was in the top side of the office where he took down Law. So all three players scattered across, dispersed. Wherever they like to be, they are at. And right now, they're tri triangulating. This last player in Suiwa, shot's going to come through. Not a lot of discipline, Oof. though. Solo gets the intel. He's like, you know what? I don't even want to play it. Let me double back to my teammates. Love the call. Yep. No need to take that gunfight. You let your players in the... I, I, you just maintain those positions. Like, you force him to make a mistake. He's got to play everything properly. I don't know how he didn't see his eye right there. But that's going to be a freebie. And that's going to close out map number two. A little more involved early on as well. Bolu, I mean, uh, look, he dropped 16 on this map the other night. I mean, what more can the man do? We are coming out. Law going to be the AR main for TLE coming off the start of this one. And uh, like you predicted, full on sending over to the A side. Lots of utility going out right there. Tatio finds the first blood. Ooh, and that is a four-man shutdown for TLE. I believe Blur, the only one able to stay alive. He finds two kills in the process. But he gets shut down as well. And not the start the Seminole's looking for here. Oh, and they got a big problem in their past in the spawn. It's Suiwa. He's already wreaking havoc. Finally gets dealt with, but the damage is done. Player advantage, four lives to uh, to the left-hand side of your screen. The uh, defense holding it down solid right here. They're cutting a lot of that damage in between, trying to get up close and personal. Right now, they're doing a great job inside of that room. You've got Sui as well and Shi Sui holding down the backside. They are looking to pinch here for the uh, for the, the spawn trap yet again in this one. Simon will have to get out of this one. Not sure if they're going to be able to do so. Well, right now, the, the lives are not in a terrible spot. Space is able to get a couple kills and locks in some of the objective time. You can see players underneath those wheels as well, so looks like it's going to be two ticks of progression for them, and TLE not able to find any kills here. He's going to make shots happen underneath those tires. Not going to be enough for the kill, but progress continues to move upwards. Suiwa looks to challenge right here. They do get things cleared out before that final tick of progression goes through, but right now, Seminole's got the life advantage. Big kill for Suiwa right there to start to equalize that. But now we see those ticks of progression start to go in over on B as well. Now, this is where things are going to get crazy here. You don't have an AR presence per se. I think Law's the only one, and you got some, you know, pocket ARs and the CBRs. But this lake right here is going to be an absolute crazy trying to cover this gap without getting any kind of uh, pressure or any kind of head glitches to work with. Space finally going to be taken down, but he's done two works of uh, take some progress on both sides. Mans is doing the most. And right there, the lives count not looking good on the left-hand side of your screen. They are down to five, Bobby. They finally got the map controlled on the B side, but no more spawns left. I, I'm going to be honest, meta is the difference in this matchup right now. Like, the lack of AR presence with how many long angles you're having to deal with, they're, they're costing TLE in a big way. And your one AR has zero kills. Law has yet to pick up a kill. And if you don't have anybody to patrol, patrol those long lanes, like, you're just going to get absolutely torn to pieces. We see full A control go through. Live's getting a little bit closer. If you're a Seminole, all you have to do is not get put into a spawn trap. Bolu's got to try to clear out Zyrax, but Zy says, I'll do it myself. Smokes go out. And if they can stack the point, they can go ahead and just get this capture through. But that being said, only three lives that you got to deal with for TLE. Shisui around the corner. He's going to get shut down. And now all down to those two remaining players. I don't think they're going to be able to stop the stack here. Nope, they're not. First round offensively oh, wins. Big, big opener there for Seminole in a very, very dominant round to start it off with obviously a little bit of uh you know bum rushing and you cover some of those angles that don't have uh or that have a lot of uh headies for for the side of uh tle they they thrive but there's not a lot of head glitches on that b site and once you are exposed you don't have anything at range right now they're trying to work backs against the wall to teo going to opt to push onto the hill but here comes the operators seminal looking to shut this one out early bobby 
Let's see how much damage they can cause here with both the claw and the sparrow. Right now, space, claw in hand, gets shut down by Tatio. Same for Bolu. Not a whole lot of impact for that Sparrow, and that's one of the bigger value ones that you need to find. Zai spraying across the map once again. That I know we talk about how the CBR has crazy range for an SMG, but that just shows you how big the map is. Looking like a pea shooter right here. It looks like Tilly. An opportunity to lock in some big time here over on A. Shisui wraps the corner, able to find one there as well. Trying to take down space, but that is a mean, mean head glitch. Still finds one around the corner. Does get traded out by Solo. A is fully captured, but right now you got to think about that long-range presence for Seminole. And that's going to make life miserable over on B. No, it is. Right here, if you're, you're TLE, you can't force the uh, the push. you got to count your bodies, maybe get inside the spawns. Logging off to pick up the LK. It is indeed meta. Oh. I've heard it from the man himself. Absolute beast. Bolu. Hello. He's got a two-piece right inside of the building. And... There is nowhere for TLE to go. Ooh, and that is a purifier gone to waste for Solo. Big, big kill. Does get traded out, but once again, if you're TLE, you're trying not to get put into a spawn trap right here. Zai doesn't see a player spawning right behind him. Does get spotted out. An opportunity for some easy kills, but can't convert. Right now, I think if you're Seminole, you, you got to sit back a little bit. Don't get fight. too rushed right here. Like, allow them to play into your strategy and... Uh, they find themselves down a life right now. Still a minute for TLE to work with. And I, I think if you turn this into a TL, into a TDM, TLE can win it. Seminole, got to sit back and make the most of the advantage they have. Okay, let's see if TLE hop the, uh, hop the hill and play the agenda. Or maybe stop this clock because you've got the player vanishing coast off of these trades. Top side's being controlled space. Has a very, very long vision of sight. And there goes Bolu. Yet again, another two-piece. Can they take him down? Zyrax finally does the damage down to three. Tilly still have yet to hop the B-Hill. Oh, space, why are we jumping down? Space drops down, loses top control, and we are in full tilt mode. One shot. Zai going to be able to catch him off guard. But again, it's only him. He's got a sniper and now a UL. It's just too much to deal with. They, they got too aggressive right there. It's hard to think that that one hop down for space could have potentially been a turning point in that round. Obviously, they were down lives, but once again, Seminole just did not force them in any way to make their way down to B, and they were more than happy to play TDM on the inside of those buildings, especially with the amount of SMGs that they're rocking with right now. So, Swiwa. Trying to see if he can set up an early spawn trap. Get some good trigger discipline right there. Solo's going to get taken down. And once again, they're off to a strong start. The question is, can they maintain it? They were not able to do so last time around. Yep, here comes Annie. So he uh, cracks the first. Gets the whip on the second. Can't connect. There it is, the follow-up. He's good. Blur finally able to shut him down. Zyrex popping the Puri. Gets Dumpster. She's sweet. Not going to get much out of that one. He, as a matter of fact, the trophy's putting in overtime on the objective. Here comes Space now. Claw in his hands. Operators out in abundance. Too close. Fight but the A site going to be shut down. Space needs to go absolutely huge with this one. Ooh, big value already. Two kills. No ticks of objective time right now, but they're looking to see if they can get pushed up and find a spawn trap. Maybe another mistake for Space right there. Looking for the hop up rather than playing the off angle. Bolu does get eyes onto Tatio. Big beams for him, but he gets traded out by law. Once again, that the AR has not found a whole lot of success. It's been uh it's been Bolu leading the way. I mean, this guy, once again, just on a different level. And he hits some beams onto Tatio. Not gonna be quite enough to get the kill. Not able to regen in that situation. And right now, Seminole no longer with the life advantage. And that that one offensive round that they did find off the start is now completely reset as they are back on the rough side. They are indeed right now. They are not doing themselves any favors. Blur going to get ripped off the box heady. And this one might be over with Bobby here in this uh, second or third round, second attacking round. 2-1 could be shutting it down here in this one. TLE lose the search, win the hard point. And they are on the brink of beating Seminole here. Let's see if they can do it in the offense. And it looks like they're going to kind of stick with those same options that they had before. Obviously, the full send on over to A. Blur looking to find some value. Gravity Vortex does get shut down. 
Ooh, and he just kind of gives a free kill over the law right there. It is going to get traded out, but a lot of these situations, it just feels like the players could find better value and uh, a lot of rust situations. Ooh, unfortunate timing of the flashbang. Blur nearly had a nice little double quick scope right there, but Sweewa leading the way once again. 24 kills on the board for him. Does get shut down before any ticks of progression go through. So once again, Seminole minimizing the objective capture, but throwing away some lives at the cost of it as well. There we go. Not necessarily playing the objective time. That's certainly not necessarily of the essence, but it is getting to about crunch time. Suwa has put massive, massive work. Able to find another one there inside of spawn site. They're trying to get onto the A point. Here it goes. Two players stacking it. This time going to go a little faster. Zyrex in a prime position to spawn trap. They can't even make it inside of the building. Zyrex going to peek on out. Gets one, gets traded instantly. Time, though, is going to be collected now as we see this A take first come through. The T.O. going to pop the... Oh, my God, the claw. It shuts down Blur, but Zai on the backside. Let's see how many kills he can get on the... Ah, there it is. That's three in the feed. Zai. Wow. A, a couple of whiffs right there, but he's able to find the Colette. And... Right now, they're still in a rough spot. You find yourself down live to give up full A capture right here. You have got to let your ARs, your LMGs hold down those long angles, space with 20 kills on the board. Not letting anybody through this left-hand side of the map. And right now, all the pressure on. Players watching over those long angles. He's not going to know Zyrex is here. And oh, he's no. not going to be able to find the kill. Now, only five lives remaining. They have got to lock in this B zone. They've got to lock it in. So T.O. wins a massive one down to three. Seminole not wow. stepping up here in the later portions. It takes the progress here. As we see that Hunter Killer goes to waste, but it is going to allow for a little map control. Solo, he's got a, oh my God. He's got a purifier, but that's it. 2v8, second take of progress. This was done, Bobby. Wow. Pulls it out. Very anticlimactic towards the end, but business is done.